deny ya Make all the demons quiet yeah. We were built to thrive, yeah I think that we've all had enough What keeps you up at night, yeah Make all the demons quiet, yeah We were built to thrive, yeah Either way, welcome to PXT, everybody. Tonight we have a full set of matches. Uh, for instance, we have another, a third time of this, seeing this match, and I get it. It's already getting annoying, honestly. And I heard some behind-the-scenes stuff between both competitors, so things like some uh, intense going on, so I'm just going to let it happen. But uh, last week, Abkul and Adonis went against each other to find out the stipulation for their match. And Abkul, behind the scenes, let us know what stipulation he chose for his division switch match with Adonis. He has chosen a last man standing match because he doesn't want, what, pretty much what he wants is to prove to everybody that he can stand tall over Adonis and prove that he is a fraud. And uh, that that's the whole reason for that. And because of that, we are going to be seeing these two go against each other once again. Introducing first. Now this man, this man has made a name for himself around the world. Adonis, he's mostly known in WWE because he had the night of Adonis at Money in the Bank. What happened at Money in the Bank, you ask? Pretty much what happened is that he defended his tag team titles at the beginning of the show, then entered the Money in the Bank match, won the Money in the Bank match, cashed in on John Cena and became WWE Champion. In other words, he, that was forever known as the Knight of Adonis. Now Adonis looks to make a name for himself here in PXT, thinking that he'll find better competition here in PXT. And uh, yeah, we'll be, right now, so far, he has yet to prove himself because uh, I think he's only won, oh god, one match? But that's not even during our run of PXT. No, he's only won once, and that was in the PXT title division tournament that would happen a couple weeks back. But Adonis looking to prove to everybody here that Abkul's, both his wins, these wins in general, have been nothing but flukes. That is what he wants to challenge here and that's what he wants to show everybody, that it is nothing but a goddamn fluke. Now here he is, ladies and gentlemen, the man that not only Won, won most of his matches in his tournament and came second to becoming PXT champion. Oh, look at that, man. The crowd is behind Abkul at the moment. Holy shit. Abkul being the misfit all around the wrestling scene. Him and his brother dominated the tag team division. Right now, we're, uh, we're still in talks with his brother, trying to see if we can try getting him in the show. But right now, so far, he says he wants to do his own thing. And that is why Abkul's here, because Abkul, same deal, wants to do his own thing. And who knows, maybe, maybe he will become a future PXT champion. Whether YouTube champion or PXT main title champion. Abkul looking to embarrass Adonis for third week straight. They fought for their division placements. They fought for a stipulation match for the division change. Now, they are looking to just embarrass the shit out of each other. Here's ladies and gentlemen, Adonis, oh, Adonis jumping with a big knee. Both men displaying athleticism here right now. Abkul, Abkul already throwing in a little bit more offense than he did the last two weeks. The last two weeks, Abkul purely controlled the matches. Now Adonis is showing everything he got and look at this, going for a quick pin thinking maybe that's enough. No, nowhere even close. That's what I was confused about. Unless he's just trying to get into the head of, oh! I think he was going for an outside dive but Abko quickly reverses and look at that, Adonis reversing with an Itzaguri to the head. Now throwing big arms to the back of Abko. Oh! Catches Abko with a suplex. Adonis is taking control of the match. Oh, but not for long. Abko looking to make a comeback, looking to go on offense of his own. 
Going on across, across the way on the outside. Right now we have a four count. Look at this pump handle. No. Donis throws his whole body weight when got lifted up there. Oh, Abko. Ooh. Doing a leg sweep there. All right. Both men. Both. I guess both men. <laughs> I guess just talking shit to each other while the green finish the shit in the ring. Oh, look at this. Abko getting. Uh, correction. Getting picked up by Adonis, but quickly reversing it. Abko looking to make his. Full on offense here. Yes, I know. I'm not great at commentary. <laughs> Look at this stomping the arm of Adonis. Abkul just now looking to damage the leg. Looking to probably stop Adonis's key enzyme. He doesn't want to get hit with that. If he gets hit with that, it's going to be almost all done for Abkul. And go, gets him with a jumping knee to the head. Oh, looks like it didn't even phase Adonis though. Adonis going for a springboard form. Oh, but Abko quickly rolling out. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Get, oh, I don't know what's happened there. I think he was... I think Adonis is going for a discus clothesline. Oh! Gets thrown. I don't even know if that... I guess like a suplex neck breaker. I really don't even know the name of that move. Abko was going for some offense there. But barely misses. Oh, look at this. Adonis not going to get caught in anything that Abko is going to produce here. Oh, quick DDT right there to the head of Abko. Oh, look at that. Abko, man, both men just know each other. Ins and outs. Oh, look at this. Oh, beautiful suplex. It is Abko. Look at the take control. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's this? Oh, getting him in a submission hold. Looking to make the former WWE champion tap out here. But no. Adonis now getting out of it. Adonis is trying to protect the leg mainly because he knows it's his main form of offense. Look at this, going for the pin again, looking to see if that will end it. No. Adonis is going to do a lot more than that. Oh, wait. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Cans on to the face of Apco. Is that going to be it, though? Is that going to be it? Oh, wait. Look at this. Mach 2. One, two, no, it was, Mach 2 was not even enough to take out Abko. But honestly, I, you got to be more impressive on this week because this week, Adonis is throwing everything into the ringer. He's not even letting Abko do a lot of offense like he did the past two weeks. Oh, brain buster from Abko though. Yeah, Abko's, Abko is now struggling a little bit in this match. Oh, quick DDT. Big elbow to the forehead of Adonis. Abko now showing why he deserves to be in the PXT. Maytosha, wait! No, go for a cross face! Looking to make Adonis tap out here tonight! Is Adonis gonna tap? Is he gonna tap out? Adonis trying to... No, no. It looks like Adonis is breaking the hold and now going in with a big strike to the head. Adonis is not having it. Oh! Big one foot drop kick. A look at this series of kicks to the forehead of Abko. Could this be Adonis' night? Could Adonis actually pick up the victory here? Oh, rip Courtney! Here it is! One! Two! No! Still not enough. Man, gotta give props to Adonis. Adonis is doing everything he can. Oh, wait, what the. Well, I guess he pulled the thing off Abko's uh, fucking playbook because he missed the, the high-risk move. And now Abko looks to go up and, oh, also misses. Oh, wait. Oh, wow. Did he hit his face on the mat? Holy shit. Look at this now. Because of that dodge, now Adonis is taking control. He's taking advantage of this whole predicament at the moment. Oh, look at this. Getting him up and throwing him belly first into the steel ramps. Yeah, we have steel ramps, so it hurts a lot more. Look at this. Adonis going to the top rope. Looking for a high risk move. Elbow to the back of Abko. Can Adonis put away Abko? 
Oh, I think he was going to go for the Adonis drop, but quickly misses. Oh, big forearm right there. And now, Al Cole taking advantage. Oh, jumping neck breaker. I guess lift up neck breaker. What the hell do you call that? Oh, look at this. What is... Oh, beautiful break buster. Holy shit. A driver? One. No. Adonis using his in-ring veteranness to realize that he was close to the ropes. Oh, what's this? Oh, what? Oh, what? what, what, what? I, I honestly don't even know what happened there. Okay. And it's Donna throwing Apple to the ropes. And look, this lifts him up and drops him belly first to the mat. Oh, scraping the face of Abco. Abco, though, still not phased by it. Still fighting back. Oh, what's this? What's this? Oh, pump handle gut buster. He actually put away Justin with that move to advance to the finals of the PXT Championship. Honestly, thought he was going to go for a pin there, but I think he wants to end it with a mind sweep here. Here it is, little, ladies and gentlemen. Setting it up. He's setting it up. Here it is. Mind sweep. Is that enough to put away Adonis again? One, two, no. Adonis is still kicking. Adonis is still fighting. Snap suplex from Abco to Adonis. Look at this, the crowd are cheering. The crowd's enjoying this match this week now. Ooh, dropping him neck first on the top rope. Ooh, from the apron, from the apron. Oh, going for him. Oh, I, 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 I don't know what happened. It looked like he got caught, but I think, <laughs> I think Adonis is no selling at this point. Oh my God, throws him to the steps. Adonis picking up, picking up Abco. Oh, is he going in with some mind games here? No? Oh, I guess he just wanted to break the count. Oh! Was that, is that Mach 2? Was that just an inverted DDT? Look a little like Mach 2. Rip Courtney! Oh, but look at this. Look at this. Honestly, you got to get props to freaking Abco. He's getting hit with hard-ass shots, and somehow he's not down. Oh, attacking the arm now of Adonis. So, honestly, I don't really see the point of attacking with the arms. Not a lot of offensive moves that Adonis has with the arms. But now he was targeting the legs just then when I said that. It is. Oh, look at this. Oh, another light suplex on the mat of the outside of the ring. Oh, goes for a big kick. Misses, though. Gets hit with a big punch. Right now he's on the apron. Oh, Adonis going back in the ring. Oh, almost, almost an eight count. Oh, that was new. Oh, reverse the count. Oh my God, both men are hitting like fucking strikes on each other. This is insane. Oh, look at this, look at this. Is he gonna go for Hydro Pump Pedigree? Here it is. Oh, but his foot was on the bottom of the rope. That could have been his win there. Look at this, Abco throwing him to the corner again. Looking to hit <laughs> one final mind sweep here. It is, ladies and gentlemen. I believe we're about to see it here again. Mind sweep! That might be it. That might be it. <laughs> here it is, ladies and gentlemen. One, two, three. And just like that, Avco puts away Adonis. Hey, what's Avco doing here? What's that? Oh, wait. What's Avco doing here? What is, what's that cool? No, he's not gonna go in for a Wait, what's this, what's this? What, wait, Onyx? Oh, 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 wait, what, why? This is interesting. Onyx has just came out here. Onyx just saved Adonis, what the fuck? Are we seeing an alliance here? Are we seeing Adonis and Onyx probably forming their first little faction here in PXT? What? <laughs> but either way, uh, now we're on to our next match. Uh, before this match starts, uh, last week's match was Rodrigo, the PXT champion, going against his 
challenger at Biowar, Bugrip, to where Bugrip picked up the victory in a five-star match, want to point out. And he won the stipulation. And he has chosen an hour-long Iron Man match. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> in other words, uh, whoever can score the most pinfalls. And no, this is going to be a false count anywhere type of <laughs> Iron Man match, which means Pinfalls can happen anywhere in the arena, and that will be the main event for Biowar. Okay, hold on, I just got word. I'm getting info from the back. Apparently the match has changed. It is no longer a one-on-one -on -one match with Rodrigo and Bugrip. The manager, correction, yeah, well, I guess me. I decided <laughs> that they are going to face, they're going to test out their actual capability in a tag team match tonight. That's right. Rodrigo versus Bugrip. Or correction, Rodrigo and Bugrip will face the Brotherhood. That is right. It looks like Justin and Devil are reuniting for one night here at PXT. Oh man, I just realized we're going to see all the interests. Fuck! I can't see. Introducing first, though. The challenger for the PXT champion, a man that claims to be the real PXT champion. For people who have not came to any of our shows, Bugrip was actually the inaugural PXT champion when we first tried doing PXT. But because PXT went bankrupt, he wasn't able to shine as the PXT champion. With this second round about, he was in the tournament, but he lost in the first round. Rodrigo picked up the victory and is now our PXT champion, but Bugrip has came back to prove to everybody, to everybody, that he is the true deserving PXT champion. He proved it last week and he hopes to prove it at Biowar, now in an hour long <laughs> fucking Iron Man match. God damn it, why? God, that's gonna suck ass to call, dude. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need water. <laughs> I'm legit gonna need water for that. But I think the reason why Bugrip chose that match is because he wants not only to prove to everybody, to everybody, that he can put away Rodrigo, but I think he wants to embarrass Rodrigo. He wants to show everybody that he is not the blue menace of PXC. No, he is a man that stole his title. The pure paragon of PXT. There's a lot of like of PXTs here. The point is he is the best in the business. So far. And now introducing. Waiting on it. <laughs> I think it's loading. <laughs> yeah. God. I, I like this this universe mode. This universe mode is a lot more fun than uh the other ones. Look at this, introducing his tag team partner, the PXT champion himself, Rodrigo, the blue menace of PXT. This man showed absolute dominance in the PXT tournament, and he's gloating the biggest way possible, showing that he is PXT. He's the PXT champion here, baby. He defeated a giant. He defeated. <laughs> he defeated a giant. He defeated a high fly. He he defeated. For correction, a former UFC fighter, who we will see next. Actually, after this match, this man has done a lot with his career, and so far he now gets to add another accolade, which is becoming PXT champion here. And uh, now now he just has to prove it. He has to show and make everybody shut up because he's been hearing it in the back. He's been hearing that everyone's saying he's not the true PXC champion. And honestly, he is sick of it. He is sick of everyone doubting him of his capability. Saying that his title win was a fluke. He is tired of it. And he wants to prove everybody wrong at PXT Biowar in an hour-long Iron Man match. So help me God. <laughs> Rodrigo being the biggest fucking bloater of all times in PXT. 
What's funny is that I wish I was joking about that, but he literally goes to all goddamn corners. I don't know if he actually go to all four fucking corners. God damn it, I was fucking kidding! <laughs> He's showing the title off to everybody. He's proving to everybody, everybody, that he is the P. XT champion. That's why he shows it to all four corners of the ring. Look at this. In, in two weeks, or the not next week, but our first pay per view that's coming in technically, yeah, two weeks. These two will main events, but now they're going against a legend. That's right. Justin was, Justin started out in WWE around 2006. He has still been continuing here and there in the indie scenes, but he comes back to the big screen here in PXT. And surprisingly, even he's surprised with how tonight's going because he found out that he is tag teaming with his brother here tonight. In other words, this is a short, short reunion of the Brotherhood. This is interesting because Dustin is a uh, Dustin is like this luchador high flyer of the family. He goes to the top ropes, go, does everything possible to take out anybody, and honestly is one of, if not the most exceptional high flyers in history. And that's why we are happy to have him here in PXT. And now he's here. See if probably he can knock off the PXT champion himself. But now, now the interesting part is that his brother is here as well. If anybody that is the most interesting of everybody in this ring, it has to be Devil. Only because Devil has gone through so many transformations. And this is the final one that he went through before he went in retirement back in 2015. He now comes back here in the year 2023. Look at that. The crowd was waiting for Devil to come in. You just hear the pop. It went, Yah! <laughs> Devil was able to pick up his first win last week. He was able to put away Gen X. Gen X last week was saying that the old need to leave and that it is time for the new breed to take over. And that's why he went against Devil to prove that one, he is nothing but a man under that mask, and two, that he is out and done in this business. But Devil proved him wrong, sending him straight to hell. Devil using the lantern to guide his way out of hell for another night of PXT. This, this is interesting because we have on one side of the team two powerhouses going against an exceptional high flyer, an exceptional striker. So that's where this is going to be interesting. Honestly, I see a very hard time for both. Devil and Justin in this match. Mainly because, yes, they can hit very hard. They can go any way, shape, or form with strikes and everything like that. But you have to be able to overpower a goddamn semi in this case. Look at that. Devil absorbing. Absorbing the energy of the PXT universe here tonight, looking to prove to everybody he still belongs. And you know what's funny as well? I believe Devil has another match here tonight. That's right, Devil has, I believe, two matches tonight. I could be wrong on that. Uh, if I remember correctly, I set him in a match, and apparently uh, the, he, he, he got thrown in this one too. Are we about to see the revival of the Brotherhood here tonight? Going against 
both PXC Champion and PXC Champion Challenger. Here it is, Bugrip and Justin starting it off. Oh, look at this, Justin going in with some springboard offense already with a springboard crossbody. Ooh, throwing the arm down there. And now, oh, <laughs> good jump, corkscrew, leg drop. God damn. Oh, look at this, Justin. Oh, Justin. Oh, my God. Look at that. Exceptional butt. The foot of Bugit reached to the bottom rope. Well, oh, look at this. I guess I was wrong. Looks like. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, big. Big fucking uppercut to the face of Justin. And now just targeting the face. Oh, look at this. Immediately tagging the PXT champion himself into the match. Oh, but Justin not, not letting the champ take advantage in any way. Oh, look at this. Big chop to the chest of the Blue Menace. Hurting the leg. Not, not a bad idea from Justin because then that stops away. Most offensive power, but... Oh, look at this. Rodrigo tagging in. Bugrip once again. Both men already tagging each other in constantly. Oh, look at this. Going for a quick pin right here. Looking for the quick victory over a legendary tag team. Oh, look at this. Oh, attacking the leg of Justin. Not a bad idea because then that takes away all his springboard offense. Wait, what's this? What's this? What's this? Oh, look at this. Hitting him with a busted crab. What's going happen here? Oh. Devil was going to go in with a big boot. Well, Devil, Devil was staying in the ring for a bit. I think Devil wanted to go in for a big chop, but no. Justin was able to get out of the Boston Crab, but then also do some other offense. And now Devil gets tagged in. Now it's Bugrip versus Devil. Oh, look at this. Bugrip already taking advantage. Bugrip looking into the face of hell and just taking control. Uh-oh. This is what I said you do not want to happen. I don't know how Justin got back in the ring, but Justin got back in the ring. Look at this. Pew grip. Look at the tag. Rodrigo tags in. Oh, look at that. Justin went in to distract Rodrigo. Pew grip. Pew grip. Quickly reversing it. Honestly. Rodrigo had a chance to just literally get out of there, leave it be, but he came back and our post expired for uh, recruitment for PXC until tomorrow. We'll get into that later. Oh, big punch to, from Justin to the side of Rodrigo. Now Devil taking advantage. The brothers, the brotherhood now taking advantage, throwing down the PXC champion himself and tags in his older brother. Oh, look at this, Rodrigo. Look at, the guitar. Oh, look at this. Oh, big cross body from the top. <laughs> well, they fit on the ring to the outside. Holy shit. And now Justin just taking on the PXT champion. Oh, now attacking the arm. Looking to probably take away Bugrip's discus clothesline. Look at this. Honestly, Justin doing an exceptional job in this. But can you really be surprised? Can we really be surprised? It is the Brotherhood, a legendary. Look at this! Look at this! Justin attacking Bugrip, and now Rodrigo attacking Devil. Oh, look at this! I think the count restarted because that attacked the Devil on the apron. And now, <laughs> interesting. Oh, look at this! Look at this! Heritage here! Heritage here! From the late great Eddie Galeno, three amigos! <laughs> Justin idolized both Rey Mysterio and Eddie Galeno, and that was just show of respect right there. Oh, look at this! Uh oh, Hugo got him up. I mean, correction, Rodrigo has him up and drops him for snake eyes into the turnbuckle. Rodrigo now looking to just bully Justin into their corner. Oh, look at this. Going in for a bear hug. Looking to make Justin tap out. Looking to make Justin tap out here tonight. But look at this. Devil. Again, Devil. De I don't know what. I guess Devil's just trying. 
Devil's trying to just like do something. I don't know what he's trying to do. But Justin, so far doing good on his own when he gets caught in like submission holes. Here it is. Beer grip saving Rodrigo from the pin. Oh, big kick to the side of the head. Oh, oh look at this. Hot tag. Devil's in now. Devil looking to take on the PXD champion. But Rodrigo looks like he's already. Right. Oh, look at this. Justin's not even the legal man, but he's targeting him. Anyways, wait. Look at this. Gets him with a dragon sleeper! Oh, drops the PXD champion down. And look at this devil! Now, looking to put away! Oh! Bugrip with a body slam! Oh, look at this! Getting Bugrip up! And throws him across the ring! Devil just putting fear in both Rodrigo and Bugrip here tonight! Oh! Like a sliding leg drop right there. <laughs> I think Bukip was really trying to get that. Oh, look at this! Straight to hell! To the PXC champion! Here it is! One! No! Only gets a one. Bukip again saving the match. Uh oh. The, I think Devil's gonna go for hell shot. Hell shot! Goes to the pin! Ooh, I think Bugrip was looking to probably take out Justin, but then he thought of it and was like, screw it, he's going to save the PXD champion. Devil now just making an exact... Oh no! Dodged it! Rodrigo dodged straight to hell and hits him with a body slam. Oh, look at this. I think he was trying to pull Devil into the corner, but Devil just said no. Devil now causes the PXC champion up for a body slam, a running power slam correction. Oh, big elbow drop to the back. Oh, Rodrigo quickly rolls out, but Devil follows. Can Devil put... Oh, no, look at this. Are we about to see? Oh, just dropping him straight down to the mat on the outside. Oh, look at this! Fear in the eyes of the Pixie Champion! Oh! Oh! Big strikes! Big ass strikes from Devil to Rodrigo! Devil in his way in. Oh! And attacks Pilgrim! And tags in his brother! Quick count there. Oh, look at this! Look at this! Look at this! Are oh, you about to see it? Oh, here it is! Homage to the late... Well, not late great, but to the great Gravis Stadia! Oh, it attacks Bilgrim! Oh! It attacks Bilgrim and hits a centaur from the apron! Oh, I think he was going for a stop. Bilgrim quickly reverses it. Oh, hits a backbreaker and then bang! Close line to the back of the head from Justin! Oh, dude, that would have been cool if he hit that and then just said, screw it, went straight to the top for his finisher. Oh, that would have been so great. No! Oh, Mr. Discus! Justin using his injury veteranness to avoid danger here. Oh, Rodrigo picking up Justin and throwing him down! I think Rodrigo needs a break. Tags in his. Tags in Bugrip. Honestly, if Bugrip did not ever. Oh, there it is. Big strike from Bugrip. Now looking to just manhandle the high fire. But no! Justin! <laughs> Goddamn, Justin has been. Almost the MVP of this entire match. He is... Oh, here it is. Pin. One. No. Doesn't get it. Rodrigo saving the match. What's Devil going for? Oh, look at this. Justin going for him. For the home match right here. Oh, I think Devil's going to distract. Oh, I think Devil was going to distract. But Rodrigo was able to overpower here. What's well, Justin going for? Oh, big drop kick right there. Oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. Well, see it? Corkscrew! No! Misses the corkscrew sent on! And look at this! Bugrip's ready! Bugrip's ready to end this! Here it is! Bugrip to Justin! For the win! One! Two! I, I don't know what happened. I think Devil put fear in the ref and Justin was able to kick out with that spare second.
I believe the crowd saying, let's keep wrestling. This, so far, this is proof that the PXT Tag Team Division is what we should need here in PXT. We just need more competitors for it. Oh, Rodrigo attacking Devil on the outside. Look at this. Both men working as a unit now. Because look, Bugip's now attacking Justin. Rodrigo looking to go for a big elbow drop to Devil. I think Devil's out of it. Look at this. Looking to put away. Oh! Put away Devil. Taking away all forms of reinforcements here. Oh! Big Discus! That has to be it. Justin has taken a bew grip and he now a discus. One! Two! Devil coming out to save the match! <laughs> Devil just rose from hell. How oh, the fuck? Oh! Justin coming in with a little bit of offense, looking to probably make a tag to his brother to get some air. No! Hits him with a drop kick. Is he gonna tag in Justin? I don't know why Justin's not tagging in. Justin feels like he has it all on his own. But look at this. Look at this! Give man, you gotta give props to Justin. He is really like one manning this entire team. Is he going for the tag? I believe he's trying to go for the tag here. Oh, Bugrip Crip catches it. Goes in for a leg sweep. Now just choking away. Justin choking away a legend here. Oh, big shot right there to Devil. Oh, big gut shots there. Big gut shots. Justin just taking advantage now. Oh, here it is. Going for a sunset flip. Power bomb. But doesn't go for the pin. He needs to tag in. He needs to tag in. Devil now coming in. And look at this. So is Rodrigo. Oh, what just? I think, I think he dodged too soon. He got caught with a discus. Here it is. One. Justin saving. Devil. Oh, I think Rodrigo looking to hit the devil with another close line. Here it is. Another discus to devil. Devil didn't see it coming. Oh, again, Justin breaking it up. I think Rodrigo was just trying to put away devil. And I think devil might just be out of it. Look at this. Telling devil to get up. Telling devil to get up. Oh, was going for a big shot, and now oh, gets hit with a big boot. Devil, look at this, waiting for Rodrigo to get up, waiting for Rodrigo to get up, but no, gets thrown over the top rope. And now Rodrigo looking to take on Justin, but Justin says no. The taxi division would be fucking awesome here in PXT. We're getting a preview of this right now. Oh. Look at this devil and Rodrigo taking out the other team's partner. I mean, devil's catching a breath. I mean, he got hit with two big clotheslines. I'm pretty sure he's out of it. Ooh, I think he was going for a clothesline. Missed it, though. And now, throws Rodrigo to the ropes. Oh, I think he was going for a big move there, but missed it. And now, Rodrigo taking advantage. Oh! Rodrigo taking advantage of it now, and now even Rodrigo's putting shame to the former tag team champion of WWE. Oh wait! Oh, it's it's a guy. Is that enough? One no. Ugrip was up and was able to put him away. Dustin now back up too. I think Devil's trying to go for straight to hell. Here it is, straight to hell. Oh no! Rodrigo well, should already be out, honestly. And look at this. And here it is! Oh! A flying demon! Holy shit! And it's throwing him over his, over his shoulder. Devil, this is a fucking fire of a match. It's gonna be a long one to edit, but holy shit. Look at this. Barrage of offense right there. Devil putting shame to the PXT champion himself. Look at this. Oh, it's probably going for another strike, but Rodrigo quickly reverses. Big strikes to Rodrigo now throwing Devil to the corner of the outside. And a six count. We're at seven. 
Are we about to get a double ring out count? Rodrigo. Oh, I believe we're about to get a ring out count here. And just like that. No, because he went on the outside. Rodrigo fucked up. They were about to get a ring out count. I didn't realize that Rodrigo got on the outside before the ref was able to get the 10. I think Rodrigo is pissed off with himself. Oh, look at this! Oh, double! Stole! Oh, two handed choke slam to the PXT champion! Oh my god, I can imagine Bugrip. I'm pretty sure Bugrip is pissed off right now. We're at seven. Now look at this! Justin now! Oh, big close line on Justin! And nine. Oh, the, he bare, his legs weren't in the ring yet. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Look at that. The tension building up here. Devil looking after his brother for a little bit. <laughs> and with that, ladies and gentlemen, we had just saw our first ever tag team match of PXT. And so far, that was fucking awesome. Congratulations to both Rodrigo and Bugrip for claiming the first ever tag team victory here in PXT. Genix is pretty butthurt with how things have been going in PXT. Uh, because so far he has yet to pick up a victory at all to where now he is blaming uh, the system in general he's blaming talent he's blaming uh, scheduling of matches he's blaming all of us and we have just been told that he is now coming out to the ring to give out a statement that he demands a better competition here in PXT Here he is, Gen X. Gen X, a former MMA fighter known for his striking capabilities, has yet to pick up a win here in PXT, though. He was a last minute signee for the PXT Championship Tournament, and he did exceptionally well. Hell, he even surprised most of the people when he went against Rodrigo and actually almost picked up the win, though he was getting dominated throughout the match. Gen X has proven that he's an exceptional fighter, an exceptional striker, but. Even with all that said, he is yet to pick up a victory here in PXT. And I believe now we are about to hear some few words from Gen X himself. Got the jacket, what? Oh, what's this? Wait, what's this? Who's this? Oh my god, it's the newest signee of PXT! That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we introduce you, Bone Tubler! T -t Tubular! T -t I cannot say the last part. We're gonna call him Bone, though. We welcome Bone to PXT. He is the latest signee of PXT. Literally, just signed today! And now he is here to make a name for himself and show that he can beat everyone and anyone here in PXT. It looks like Gen X is a okay with it. Refs in the ring. Gen X okay with the match. Here we go, ladies and gents. Oh. Gonna go for a one-legged dropkick, but Gen X quickly catching him and hitting him with a DDT. Oh. Oh, what's this? Oh, what's this? Oh, beautiful. Hurricane. <laughs> oh, my God. That was a tornado DDT. It was beautiful, too. Tubler already taken out. Oh, no. Gen X quickly dodging the dropkick. Ooh, big kick to the face. And look at this. Now, Gen X showing his striking capability. The ref sees that it's too gruesome for YouTube, so he blocks the strikes. Oh, look at this. Two. Bone, quickly. Oh, Bone. Oh, revert. <laughs> He's trying to get into a DDT. Oh, big kick right there. Gen X 
Oh, but look at this. Bone not letting up offense either. He's really fighting it out as well. Oh. Big leg drop to the chest of Gen X. Oh, Gen X looking to steal a win here. One. No. Doesn't get it off Bone. Ooh. Big elbow from Gen X. And look at this. Another one. And third one right there. I think Gen X really wants that first time victory. Fire looking to get it here. Oh, wait. Look at this. Oh, look at this. Oh, misses the big strike. Gen X getting bone up into a suplex. Oh, look at this. Former little disrespect here showing that he's the next cause of PXT. Gen X stomping the face. Thumbing the face of Bone and now scraping his head. Showing disrespect to the newest sighting of PXT. Come on. Genex hasn't been here long either, but oh, probably doing it to show that he's a the big dog here. It's coming in. Oh, what's go I, I you think he barely missed the baseball slide, but I think he did it. That's <laughs> a little bit of show of fear there. There it is. Wheelbarrow Bulldog! Bone doing exceptionally well right now. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Oh, <laughs> gets him in an arm lock. But Gen X, being a former MMA, knows how to get out of a lot of strike type moves. Oh, he gets Bone up, but Bone quickly gets out of it. Bone. Oh, Bone now hitting him with a series of strikes. Hits him with a quick leg sweep. Bone looking to steal. That's enough to put away Gen X. Gen X still going. Bone. Ooh, big forearm to the face of Gen X. And now, oh, a standing shooting store? Isn't that a standing shooting store, Chris? Now, a series of strikes to the face. Bone now attacking the arm of Gen X, looking to put him away, but Gen X quickly rolling out. Looking to take a minute. I think Gen X is really... Oh, look at this Bone. Bone is very, like, mobile, honestly. He's, like, moving almost across the ring like crazy. Oh, Gen X looking to throw him into the corner for a snake eyes. And now has him at the bottom of the turnbuckles. Gen X getting him up. Oh, here it is. Oh, hits him with a backbreaker. Oh, wait. Look at this. Look at the show of display there. Gen X, that is the thing about Gen X. He will embarrass new talent because he believes he is the new face of PXC. That he's the new generation of wrestling in general. Oh, throws Bone down. My Bone still going. Another good wheelbarrow DDT. Again, just, oh, look at this. Oh, misses the high risk maneuver. But there's a reason why it's high risk, because it's high risk, high rewarding. And now both men on the outside. Look at this. Bo not attacking Gen X. But, oh, Gen X hits him with an Itaguri. And look at this. Bo now throwing him with a leg sweep. Bo throwing him to the court. Oh, throwing him to the ramp, but now Bone going in and sliding back out. Bone wants to get his first win in PXT cleanly. DDT right there! Oh, there it is. Oh, Bone being thrown across the outside. Genix coming in and now taunting away. Oh, look at that. Oh, Big shot there. Oh, I think he was going to go for his finisher, but no, doesn't get it. Bone is doing exceptionally well. Honestly, being a very high... He's a very versatile type of fighter because he's moving like all over the ring right now. Goes Gen X across the outside, now getting advantage. Hits him with a big, fo big forearm. God damn. Looks like a bit of an elbow was thrown there. Ooh, it's Bone on the back of his thigh. Oh, big 
kick to the face of Bone. Jenix just hit him on the outside. He needs to get Bone in for a pin to see if that's enough. I think he realizes it too. Look at this, Jenix looking to claim his first victory here in PXT. One, two, Bone kicks out though. That was probably the biggest shot Jenix had. Get on the outside there. Oh, but boom! Quickly kicks Genix to the outside too. Oh, hits him with a reversal. Oh, look at that double knee to the face of Genix! But Genix now kicking away Bone. Comes away Bone, still going though. Bone still fighting off Bone, giving everything he got to the crowd. He's cheering behind Bone, looking to show everybody why he deserves to be here. Beautiful! Eric Arana! Gen X trying to get himself back up. Oh, look at that! Do the top rope to gain a little bit of an advantage. Now going to the top rope himself. What's Gen X gonna do? Oh! Big forearm shot from the top rope! Is that enough? One! Two! No! Bone isn't giving up here. Honestly, Bone, Bone looks like a goddamn psychopath. And maybe him and uh, maybe him and what's his name should team up together. This. Oh, big shot right there, Bone, looking to gain a little bit more of an advantage. And no, dropping him down. It is Bone getting him up, but now, oh look at this! Oh, was that a Bone cutter? He hits the twisting bone cutter. Here it is. One, two. Gen X is still going. That was the twisting bone cutter. And it wasn't enough. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Another one. Sends Gen X rolling and flying. Bone making his in-ring debut with PXT and already showing everybody that he's here for a reason. It's because he is he wants to prove to everybody that he's an exceptional high flyer. Whoa! Beautiful arm drag right there. Oh look at this! Oh! Sling blade there. But wait! Oh, it's a beautiful drop kick! Bone is already showing that he is the next generation of PXT! That was the Twisted Bone Cutter! Everyone's asking for one more time, but I think Bone's thinking, no, he needs to end it. One, two, three, and with that, Bone Tubler wins here tonight! Bone Tubler gaining a victory on his in-ring debut here in PXT. Congratulations. Holy fuck, dude. <laughs> he came in just going everywhere around the ring, man. Damn. Gen X again <laughs> has no point in his statements at all. By the way, uh, that is not it because now we have... We do still have two other matches that are actually going to be happening um, a little later because we're going to see what's going to be happening here. But up next, it is actually going to be... Oh, actually, let's see what happens first. No, the next match is going to be Satoshi Makoto, the crime boss of PXT, going against the new uppercomer Ace. Satoshi Makoto, Ace. Oh, look at this. Going in for a handshake. Looking to probably make a man. Oh, oh, the crime boss of PXT doing some mind games here. Oh, look at this. Oh, Satoshi coming in! Satoshi Makoto doing some great, great fucking... Oh, big boo right there. This is going to be a long-ass episode. I apologize about that. It's really the tag team match that did it. Satoshi, look at that. Doing some maneuvers, but Ace not getting it. Getting him with an elbow to the face. Oh, on the knee. And now... Oh, what's... Oh, beautiful suplex! Ace! 
Ray showing his in-ring capability here tonight against the crime boss of PXD. Look at this, twisting the golden branded shoe. Ooh. Back in the leg. And now again, looking at this. Now doing work on the legs of Satoshi. Man, Ace, Ace is really showing a lot of ferocity here tonight. He, God damn, again with the leg. He really does not like the shoe. It's either he doesn't like the shoe, or I'm sorry to say it. He might be trying to steal the shoe. I mean, how many times? Okay, I was about to say, come on, again? Again? <laughs> Okay, come on. I, at this point, I'm pretty sure Ace is just trying to steal the fucking shoe. <laughs> How many times did he grab the damn shoe? Ace is just wanting to sell the damn shoe. Put some more disgrace on Satoshi, but gets him up for a powerbomb. Oh, the apron. Oh, my God. He hit Satoshi back first on the hardest part of the ring on the apron and then just threw him to the side of it. Ace is just not happy with what's been going on with Satoshi. First, when they first fought, gets defeated by ring out count. Then, gets asked for help, takes it, doesn't take any of the criticism, and now we are here to where Sat Ace just really wants to hurt Satoshi. Just does not like him at all. But again, I think Satoshi is playing, maybe it's just some mind games. Maybe he was first to see if Ace could be an associate, but then failed, and now we are here. This, oh! One's there, big, big shots to the back of Ace from Satoshi. Oh, here it is, Satoshi. Oh, look at this, a deadlift suplex from the crime boss of VXD! Oh! Suicide dive right there. Satoshi doing, oh, I think both men try to do, go for like a drop kick type maneuver, but both missed. Oh, look at this, Ace. Oh, throwing it down! I believe we got a message from, uh, from Bones manager in this case. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, I should have done that in the beginning. I should do that uh, after this match. I'll do that after this match. Satoshi now. Hey, Vanjay, look at this! Oh, Ace coming in with his own suicide dive! Ace looking to take advantage. Now getting Satoshi up. Oh, look at this! Oh, ooh. Ooh, 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 what's this? What's it? Oh, my God! The exceptional every capability of Ace. This is stuff that we. This is the reason we signed Ace is because of shit that he does like this. It's amazing, and he shows his in-ring capability. He just has yet to extinguish it or show it. There it is. I think Ace thinks it's enough. I think he's gonna go for the pin here. Yes, he is going for the pin on Satoshi. Is it enough to put him away? One, two, no. Satoshi still going. Ooh. Big kick to the side. Oh! Big elbow to the face, Satoshi. Oh! Big shot there. Satoshi looking to take advantage. Oh, look at this. Satoshi looking to gain advantage. But again, Satoshi is just a mind... I was going to say mind fucker, but that's probably not a good idea. But point is, he, he's a mind manipulator. That's what he does to win his matches. He... Messes, he plays a lot of mind games, and that's what he's doing even here tonight. Because hell, I thought he was gonna go for the finisher. Big punch to the face right there. Satoshi now. Oh, who's gonna go for American Ottoman? It's caught into a power bomb. Ace again. It, okay, at this point, I think Ace just wants to take the shoe. I think he wants to sell it only because he's pissed off at Satoshi. One, because Satoshi keeps flaunting the money in the back, which he does, and just to fucking shut him up and probably get him pissed off for once. Because Satoshi's a happy motherfucker. My god, he just keeps attacking the leg of Satoshi. At this point, Satoshi, I don't know how the hell he's standing. I don't know how he's doing some kicks. I, I don't I don't understand. Oh Frankensteiner! I think that got Ace a little dazed right now. And Satoshi's taking advantage of it. Oh, she gets him up and hits him with a brain buster! And Ace rolls out of the ring. 
That's Satoshi not giving him a lick of rest and hits a top rope drop kick. Holy mother. Hits a leg sweep right there. Ace now coming back at it, hitting shots again to the legs of Satoshi. Wait, what's this? Oh, oh, oh my god. Satoshi just catching Ace. I think he was going for a Shirai. A Shirai type move? I don't know the actual name of it, but holy crap. Satoshi coming back in. Oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. Oh, there it is. I think it's considered a blockbuster, actually, but I don't know. Point is, he hit it. Ace. Oh, I think Ace looking to call it here. Oh! I think he was too close. Oh, no! He gets hit with a drop kick to the back. And now Satoshi looking to take advantage, but Ace's hand was underneath the rope. Satoshi not happy with it. Was about to get angry at the ref there. Oh, here it is. Satoshi now. Oh! No! Ace kicked out at one. That big ass type of move only got a one. I think Ace is pissed off. He's done now playing games. Ace throwing Satoshi into the ring. Ace is done. Ace is done dealing with it. But, oh, uh, I don't know what's going on. Oh! Satoshi now coming back at it. Satoshi getting Ace up. Oh! Oh, look at that! What the hell was that? Oh! What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? One! Two! No! Ace kicks out! What the fuck was that? Hey, a riff! Oh, look at this. Satoshi looking to make Ace step out here. Look at this. The show blowing right here. It is submission hold right here. He's made many tap out in other places. And Ace taps out to Satoshi. And just like that, Satoshi picks up another victory here. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. Satoshi picking up, a, honestly, a big victory. Honestly, I believe, no, he is the second man to get a submission victory here in PXT. Congratulations, Satoshi, for gaining a... Oh, uh, well, it wasn't that great of a match. Really three -star, but, hey, you know what? It worked. All right. You know what? Let me do that now. All right. So, real quick. Uh, that's something I didn't do with the... Because, honestly, the original plan was to have the name cards and the in-ring say the gamer tags of people that actually just, like, wanted their wrestlers in. Sadly, the name card on the one I chose doesn't do that. So, actually, I'm going to do a shout-out right now to the people that actually... Uh, had their characters um, in PXT. So real quick, let me do that. So first, I uh, want to thank Cam Cam. He was the one that created uh, Bone Tubler. Uh, if I'm saying it wrong, by the way, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm probably just going to call him Bone because it makes it easier for me. Because <laughs> I feel like I, I say his name wrong. But I uh, do want to thank Bone Tubler. Uh, want to thank... Uh, oh, God. This one's going to be a... Um, XMVC Vex the Goat. He was uh, the creator for Pierce Perch. Um, honestly, thank you for that. And then X Lawler. That one's pretty much very similar because he was the creator of Jake Lawler. Want to give you guys a shout out because uh, sorry that I wasn't able to do it on the name cards. I do feel bad about that. I didn't realize that till like literally in the middle of this when Cam sent me a thing on here because I was like, damn, I didn't do that at the beginning of this episode. I should have done that. All right, but on to the next match of PXT. Now, this is where this is going to be interesting, mainly because the past couple weeks, we've seen two superstars rise above giants, legends, and everything such as. So, this is actually going to be some number one contender matches here. Or correction, uh, shots for number one contender match at BioWar. So it's going to be G7 versus Pierce Birch here tonight. Bio War. Yes, POC Bio War is going to be our first pay-per-view. That will be happening in two weeks. Uh, here he is, man. The Slayer himself. 
G7. This man has gone against giants. He's gone against legends. He's gone against so many, and he's slayed them all. He used to be a mid-carder. He used to be just only going in for the mid-card. But now, this is his chance to go straight to the top of the line of the PXT title division. Other words, if Bukit doesn't steal the deal, he is next in line. Well, depending if he wins tonight. He's been on a hot streak. He's literally been claiming victories left and right. And so has someone else that will be in the next match. I will say this though, uh, while editing wise, I'll admit one thing, I love editing G7s because his entrance is fucking awesome and I love editing it. I actually really enjoy it. Like matching this part, yeah, that shit's fucking awesome. <laughs> G7 proving to be a top star here at PXT and looking to become a future PXT champion. But now he has to go against the GOAT of wrestling. This man has been all over the world, wasn't able to pick up a win on his debut match, but looking to change that here tonight. That's right, Pierce Birch. He's been all over the world. He's made money for all companies. And when he thinks he's made enough, that's when he moves on to the next place. And he has chosen PXT as his next home. Looking to probably dethrone whoever has a title, whether it's Bugrip, whether it's Rodrigo, hell, whether it's even C. Jill or Titan, who is made eventing tonight, because apparently they changed minds and they do want a stipulation match. Look at this. Here's Perch looking to make more of a name for himself here tonight. They did last week when he main evented against Jake Lawler to where Lawler just destroyed Pierce Perch. But now can he beat a man that's been on the rise? The Slayer goes against the GOAT. Here it is! Here it is G7. Already taking control. Oh, there it is. Pierce now coming back at it. Going in for... Oh, look at that! Beautiful! <laughs> Springboard inverted TDT! Holy shit! Perch now bringing in offense. This is more offense than we saw last last week in the main event. Oh, there it is. G7 now coming back at it. Oh, look at that! A swinging neckbreaker! G7's not holding up, but neither is Perch. Oh, was going for a super kick, but G7 blocked it. Now looking to gain advantage and hits a spine buster! Seven going for the pin. One! No! Seven still going. Seven still claiming. Oh, going for another super kick, but again gets blocked. Honestly, I, I gotta give props to G7, because holy fuck, he is actually showing why he should be here. Oh! Throws him over the top rope! Belly belly to the outside. Holy fuck. And now, waiting for Perch to come in. Oh, look at this! Just tossing Perch across the ring! Looking to become a greatest of all time Slayer now. G7 has yet lost a match here, besides the tournaments. On our actual live shows, he is undefeated. It is. Seven looking to... Oh! It's an elbow there. Perch now looking to try to make a comeback against the Slayer here. Oh, it's a brain buster! Perch knows he's going to have to really try in this. And hits a big clothesline! Can he put away the Slayer here tonight? Oh, look at that. G7 now coming back at it. G7 getting him up. And now, oh, did to a powerbomb! G7 doing exceptional job, and look at that! Future Shock! Here it is! One! Two! No! Only gets a two count, but he's already ensured that he's gonna hit the King Slayer. Oh, look at this! Getting Perch up! Getting a Perch up, and now throwing him down for Powerball! G7 get, going to the top rope, looking to probably go for a dive. No, no, he's not going for a dive. Probably the big chop to the cross. The face of Perch! 
Man, so much power where it left his leg dangling on the bottom rope. Here it is! Look at him come! Oh god, no! Perch reverses Kingslayer! Perch so far being the first man to reverse the Kingslayer into the power bomb! One! Two! No! G7 kicks out of Perchilator. Yeah, probably not a good name, but either way, I'll, I'll, I'm workshopping. <laughs> Yes, we break, we break the fourth wall here a lot. Go, oh, G7 kicking away. Looking, G7 looking to make another comeback here. Oh, look at this, look at this. Oh, Perch going for, oh! Big slam, going for the pin, one, two. No, G7 kicks out. Perch, look at this, Perch doing an amazing job. Perch wanting G7 to get up, going for that high fly, dive! Right there, it's standing up, Perch showing that he is here for a reason. He's here to make big bucks, and he's here to show everybody that he can be the next PXT champion here. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. The show of disrespect to the Kingslayer. Oh, look at this. Oh, but G7 not giving up either. G7 fighting back as well. Oh, but Perch, honestly, Perch is doing an exceptional job when it comes to Kitty Collin grapples. And again, the show of disrespect here from Perch to the Kingslayer. Now getting G7 back in the ring. Oh, look at this. Perch looking to put away G7, looking to put him away once and for all. Wait, no! G7! Not gonna have it! Alabama Slam! G7 wasn't gonna have it. Oh, here it is! Here it is! Oh! Double hook DDT! Is it enough? One! Two! Perch kicks out! Look at this, now the Kingslayer coming out. Now the Kingslayer coming out to fight. G7 understands, there's a once in a lifetime opportunity and he's not giving it up for somebody who just signed in who hasn't even been here since the very beginning. G7 not giving up. G7 now attacking the leg of Perch, looking to take away a little bit of his offense here. Oh, but Perch reverses the big shoulder tackle. Oh, here it is. Persecution! Here it is! One! Two! No! G7 still going. And now Pierce Perch looking to end it here. Oh! He calls that the GOAT! And with that, Pierce Perch picks up the victory and is going to buy a war. Let's see if he will be the number one contender for his title division, which, if I'm correct, he is in the PXT title division. Correction, PXT YouTube title division. Sorry about that. And they're claiming the victory here tonight. And sadly with that, G7 loses his spot to even get into the title shot. For now. Now, congratulations, Pierce Perch, but now we are going on to the next match to where we are going to have, uh, honestly, a sort of same deal where G7 was undefeated in PXT until tonight. Uh, sort of same thing with this uh, little match as well. The Kid has also been on a hot streak of winning matches, so that is why we're going to have the Kid go against the newest signee who impressed everybody last week, Jake Lawler. Whoever wins this match will go on to buy a war for a number one contender shot at in their title division. So if Jake Lawler wins, he will get the title shot for the PXT Championship. Same thing with the kid. If they win at Bio War. Introducing first, the man himself, the man that claims to be a god. Entrance music. <laughs> Honestly, I really like his entrance music because it goes good with like the <laughs> looks cool. 
Osley Jake Lawler impressed the entirety of PXT Universe with his in-ring capability and he is looking to shut all mouths down, shut all things saying it was a one-time thing. No, he's here to prove that it is a main time thing, that it is something that he it does day in, day out, every week. But now it will be interesting too, because if Jake Lawler wins here tonight, he will actually be going into a rematch at BioWar against Pierce Perch for the number one contender shot for their title division. Pierce Perch being an exceptional fighter. Honestly, you want to want to see? I want to see Jake Lawler going against Bone. <laughs> I think that'd be a pretty cool shit. Because honestly, both of them are like highly exceptional in this ring. They're like fast as hell. They go full on at it. I'd love to see them two fight. Maybe later in the future. But right now, Jake Lawler facing down the man from the cosmos, the Galactic Kid. He's the Galactic Outlaw from the Universe 299. Do I know what that is? No. But point is, he's been here, he's been there, he's been in the cosmos, he's been in comets, he's been everywhere. He was trained by the late great Comet, and he's been showing that that training has been sending him to stardom here. He is yet to lose on live shows of PXT, but he is here to probably win his first ever, well, uh, first ever like number one contendership shot. And now he's been proving that he is an exceptional fighter, but he wants to prove to everybody that he can do everything possible and that he can do what his own mentor couldn't do, and that is become a champion. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. We have Jake Lawler, the kid, one-on-one. -on -one. Here we go, kid going in strong, but Lawler quickly blocking and now gaining advantage. Oh, but the kid, Lawler was going a little bit too far for that, but the kid taking advantage now. Kid doing it. Kid showing that he's he's probably a little bit more trained than Lawler, mainly because Lawler went across the ring to where the kid just went straight there and then just throws him on the top rope. And now the kid, oh, good move right there. We got a big strike to the face of Lawler. The kid honestly almost made it to the, like the finals of the YouTube title shot, but he went against a man like C. Jill and really came up short. C. Jill tested the kid's capabilities, but honestly, the kid has been doing a phenomenal job here in PXT. And now he's here to earn himself a title shot. Or, correction, a shot for the shot at a title. And look at that! Look at this! Turned into a busted crab on Jake Lawler! Looking to put it the... Look at away Lawler, but no, Lawler's not taking it. Oh! Kicking the kid off. I'm telling you, the Galactic Kid is... Something exceptional, and Lawler's not having it, and hits him out. And now Lawler going for a suicide dive, not even a suicide dive. An outside dive turned into a DDT. Oh, look at this, the kid, the kid getting advantage. And now throws a face first into the apron, the hardest part of the ring. The kid now throwing Lawler back. Kid looking, looking to claim an opportunity to get a title shot in general at Biowar because he's never won. And look at that! I don't even know what it's called. I was going to call it like a fucking twisting neck breaker. Here it is, a pin right there, but Lawler kicks out at one. Man, got to give props to Lawler. Lawler Lawler's actually really good at the... And Lawler hasn't been trained by anybody. He's just naturally talented, I want to point out. Oh, the kid reversing it into a big suplex on the outside. And now the kid gaining advantage. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Gets Lawler up. And again. Oh, another neck breaker. Are we about to see like what we saw the other week prior to where the kid. Oh, look at that. Jumping neck breaker right there. Oh, now there's a ring out count going on. And honestly, if it's ring out count, we can't do anything about it. 
The kid really going close with time right now. It's at six. Lawler hitting him on the leg. Oh, throwing Lawler onto the table. And now throwing him on the side of the ring. We're at eight. The kid gets in. Oh, but the kid breaks the count. The kid wants to win this legit. He doesn't want to win it by a count out. Oh, double axe hands to the back of Lawler. And now the kid up to the top. And now oh, that's shooting Comet. Here it is. One, two. No, Lawler kicks out at two. That was shooting Comet from the late great Comet himself. Look at this, everyone's saying fight forever. They want to see Lawler and the kid go at it all day, every day. Oh, look at this. Lawler going for, oh, beautiful suplex. Has the kid down for a sec. Lawler getting him up, though. Lawler planning some devious stuff here. Oh, big suplex there. Oh, big kick to the back. Oh, oh, good misdirection right there from Lawler to the kid. Honestly, I've never seen that type of offense before. Yeah, the kid just like swept his legs up. Holy shit. Look at this, low. Lawler. Lawler's doing an exceptional job right now, keeping the kid down. One, but the kid kicks out at one. Wasn't even close to enough. Lawler's going to have to hit one of his... Oh. He's going to have to hit Law and Order. He's, he's going to have to. Oh! Big kick to the back of the kid. Now Lawler's just taking full advantage, going full offense. Let's see. Is he going to go for... Oh, no. Here it is. Big strikes. The big strikes of Lawler. Oh! Big knee shot to the face of the kid. Oh, I think Lawler was going to go for a big shot there, but the kid reverses, and now we're going for the fall away neck breaker. Kid trying his hardest right now. The kid going to the top rope, and now, oh, Lawler reverses it with a big shot to the gut of the kid, but the kid reverses whatever Lawler was about to throw out. And now a big suplex with a kid to Lawler. Honestly, I don't know who has an advantage in this match. Both men have yet to hit their signatures, have yet to hit their finishers. Oh, big kick to the face. Oh, the kid jumping back in the ring. It's five. I don't know what Lawler's doing. Lawler's looking at the kid, I think he didn't like that show of disrespect, but look at this, the kid oh Lawler quickly quickly grabbing the ropes they didn't want to get caught there oh I think I think the kid was trying to go for it again, but Lawler's just not allowing it oh, big kick there oh, double barrel hit the double barrel one, two no, the kid the kid could not put away Lawler. <laughs> kid trying everything he can to put away Jake Lawler. But Jake Lawler coming with a big strike. Now big strike. Oh, missed the big clothesline. I think he's a little dazed at this moment. Oh, big shot there. And now Lawler going for the pin. Looking to put away the kid. For an opportunity at Biowar. Look at this, Lawler now taking the kid to, the, oh, again, going too far with this. He could have just done that, the ropes next to him, but he was trying to go for something bigger, I guess. I don't know. Goes Lawler to the ropes. The kid missing the big shot he needed. Oh, there it is! Law and order! One, two, no! The kid is still going. Nick Lawler trying his best right now, and here it is, Northern Light Suplex! Ooh, big knee shot right there. Ooh, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of gas right now. I'm drinking soda. Oh, look at this, the kid's crawling away, Jake Lawler talking all sorts of smacks to the kid now, just... 
choking him out. Holy shit. Lawler shows no remorse here in PXT. Look at this. Look at this. The show. A strikes with a big kick to finish it off. Oh, the kid not happy with it. The kid is at a galactic outlaw and he's not happy with it. And now, oh, good sideways slam. What's the kid going for here? What's he going to go for here? You know, do something with the arm, but no. Jake is not going to allow it. Lawler fighting back. Oh, look at this. Lawler getting him up. And now, what's Lawler setting up here? Oh, again. Just with dirty ass shots here. And there it is! No! Oh! The kid reverses! Law and order! Can the kid put away Jake Lawler? Oh, what's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? Oh! What type of pile driver there? The Jake Lawler! And now Jake's quickly going to the outside ropes. Oh! Kid punching him down. But now... Oh, what's the kid going for? What's the kid going for here? No, 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 no! Oh, Danny tears in the apron! Oh, 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 fuck, dude. How the hell are these two still going? Big Danny T right there! The match we I didn't think would be that exceptional. Jake Lawler against the kid for a match at BioWar to become number one contender. One, two... No! Jake is still going. The kid's gonna have no choice but to hit Shooting Comet. He's gonna have to hit Shooting Comet or Cosmic Whirlwind. He, eats it, he hits either of those. It's over. Oh! It swept on the leg. Oh, there it is! Double barrel! It's the double barrel! One, two, three, and just like that, the kid earns himself a shot at PXC BioWar for a chance at becoming number one contender for the PXT Championship. Goddamn, you gotta get props. Holy fuck, these two, they, they went at it. Holy shit. Congratulations to both. Kid and Lawler, because Lawler, though he did not pick up the victory, he showed exceptional skill here at PXT. Two weeks in a row. That was exceptional. So that means at PXT Bio War, it's going to be Pierce Perch against the Kid to see who will be the next number one contender for the PXT Championship. The main event tonight is Sigil versus Titan. Apparently, before last week when C. Jill made his you know PXT debut a live show debut um he how do I word it he had told everybody that they had agreed on just having a regular match but according to Titan Titan is now changing it and now wants to fight for a stipulation at PXT so now it is going to be C. Jill versus Titan tonight and then we're going to see what the stipulation is going to be at PXT Bio. White Viper of Russia, Sigil, going against the Titan. But no, I do want to point this out, is that Sigil has yet to be pinned at all in PXT. Oh, look at this Sigil coming in. Oh, look at this Titan! Not waiting, but it either is Sigil! Sigil fighting too! Both men showing equal. Oh my god. Titan showing that he can possibly put away the White Viper here tonight. Will C. Jill finally be pinned here in PXT? No! Big boot to the face! Look at this! This is what I'm talking about. C. Jill is an exceptional fighter, but look at this Titan quickly getting off of it. Oh! Big punch in the face of Titan now! We're having two powerhouses going at it! Look at this. Oh my god. It's been pure... All it's been just fucking aggression from the very beginning of the match. And now Titan throwing away the White Viper. Oh! Now taking out the legs. Honestly, not a bad play from Titan. Only because, see, Jill really relies on his leg offense. 
But even with that said, CJ can match power with Titan as well. Look at that! Showing point right here! Look at this! Oh! Showing exceptional skill here and now, CJ! Big spine buster! Going for the pin! One! Two! No! Titan kicks out. Well, honestly, it looked like barely. It looks like what happened. Well, the damage might have already been done, but now Titan looking to make a comeback. But CJ dodges. CJ hits the heel kick. Here it is for the win. One. Oh, look at this. The Titan being a little bit of a ring general himself, realizing he's close to the ropes. What I'm talking about, man. CJ is fucking. A monster when it comes to in-ring debut. Oh, look at this! Oh, no, they're like suplex! Oh, no! Titan's not done! Oh, Titan Netbreaker! One! Two! No! Titan's not done either. Oh, oh, big... I don't know what happened there. I think Titan was going for something. I see Jill quickly reversing it. Oh, look at this, trying to work the arm, but Titan, oh, Titan looking to power out of the lock from the White Viper. Look at this, CGL now fighting, honestly, both men are showing an exceptional showing, a big punch in the face of Titan. Titan going to the corner, CGL looking to work his way out there, no, hitting with a big knee first to the face in the corner, now CGL. Oh, look at this. Look at this. All body weight and all. Oh, look at that. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, reverse. What? What was that? Oh, big clothesline right there. Both men going at each other left and right. This is amazing. I love this. And look at this. Both men's offense has not fucking faltered. One man, when one man gets an advantage, the other comes back with even more power. This is amazing, but now see Jill's taking the advantage. This. Oh, big gut shot. And now Titan, oh, full body first. Just full body throw at the Spite Viper of Russia. Oh, throwing see Jill back in the ring. Jill's now up. And oh, look at this! He got Titan up, and oh, Father's Blessing, Father's Blessing, one, two, no, <laughs> Titan kicks out a Father's Blessing just like that, oh, he'll kick right there, oh, CJ wants to make a statement, he wants to make a statement here tonight, he wants to make a statement here, but oh, Titan, Titan getting out of it, Titan getting out of it though, Titan looking to make a statement of his own. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Olympus Falls. Here it is. One, two, no. He was looking to be the first man to pin C. Jill. He was looking to become the first man ever to pin the PXC YouTube champion. Yes, we would all know C. Chill is the PXT YouTube champion and is currently undefeated in PXT. Titan looking to claim that honor of being the man to put away C. Jill, but C. Jill's not having it. C. Jill has had way better fights in Russia, he claims. Oh, look at this! Going for the Viper Lock! The Viper Lock! Oh, Titan looking to put the man asleep! Looking to put him away! He just... He put the Titan to sleep! See, Jill picks up the victory here at PXT! See, Jill remains undefeated here at PXT! Holy shit! When I made this man, I didn't realize he was gonna be this fucking overpowered! What the fuck? See, Jill being the White Viper of Russia puts away the Titan himself. Live stream on Twitch. Yes, this was going to be at Twitch. Same thing, Cycle 118 for recruitments of PXC. If you guys have a wrestler that you guys want to see in here, and since you guys got a preview of the tag team division, we'll see if we can have like a tag team show going on, and then that will be PXC tag teams. Drop on in and let's talk about your characters joining PXT. But right now, that's it. Take care. Have a great night. I'm out, guys.